choose seven years of famine to come upon you and the land. He says, secondly, you can choose three months of your enemies coming constantly against you and getting the victory. He says, or you can choose three days with a plague in the land and God being in control. Now, I don't know about you, but it was an easy decision if you ask me. I do not need seven years of famine. I do not need for my enemies to be in control in my life at all. Because God help me if they ever get any amount of control in my life. He, David says, now I don't know what I'm going to have to go through in those three days. He says, but God, give me three days of your terror as opposed to three months of my enemies being in charge. And somebody needs to be thankful that even in your mess ups, God will still give you some options. He will not leave you without a choice. And the Bible says that David decides to choose the three and God says, all right, there will be three days of plague in the land. And as a result, thousands of people will die. 70,000 men die as a result of David's mess up. May I speak to leaders for just one moment and tell you, you better be careful uh, when you're in leadership because you can affect lives that do not belong to you. You better watch that. You better watch the decisions that you make because your decision could affect somebody else's life. I know this ain't my church, uh, but it was in the Bible. Uh, the Bible says that, that, that 70,000 men died uh, as a result of the leader's mistake because the leader did not use wise judgment. That there were 70,000 people who were following him that died. My God, I wonder how many people are going to hell in churches all over the world because they're following bad leaders. Uh, the Bible and men die, he now says to God, give me another chance to thank you in an appropriate way. The Bible says he goes to Ornan's house and he asks to buy the threshing floor. Now you've got to understand that Ornan knows that David is the king. And so he says to David, he says, king, you don't have to buy my threshing floor. He says, I will give it to you. And David says, you don't understand. I cannot give to God something I did not pay for. Do you know why you don't need to worry about other people constantly bugging you that you praise God for so much? Uh, because they don't understand the price you paid to release that praise. They don't understand that when you come to church, you've got to give God all you've got because you know the mess ups you did. You know the hang ups you've got. You know the issues you have. And still after all that, God brought you here to give him Psalm 30, David says, God, you did not let my soul or my foes be victorious over me. He says, I cried out to you and you healed me. Somebody needs to be thankful on this morning that even when you were crying after you messed up, that God did not turn away, but he still heard your voice. He says, you brought my soul up from the grave. You have kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. He says, I've got to praise you, O Lord. He says, I've got to let the saints know to praise you and give thanks at the remembrance of his holy name. This is why I've got to thank God. He says, for his anger is but for a moment. Do you know that some of us are still carrying grudges against people from 15 years ago?
enough but to thank God that you didn't kill me in my mess. I should have been dead in my grave. Not because of my enemies, but because of 